Hello my lovelies. So I want to do a video today titled Friendship Journals and this is kind of an updated video of the last one I did a few years ago. It was not in the best of shape. I didn't really know how to talk in front of a camera. I was saying I'm a lot. I still say I'm a lot. But bear with me here. So <laughs> Friendship Journals. This concept came to me in sixth grade. This was the first journal I kind of really kept. I had my first like journal journal I kept for myself was probably about eighth grade. And before that I had a journal but didn't really write in it. And so sixth grade was, was friendship journals. And so one of my friends that didn't go to my school did this with her friends. And the concept was that you had a notebook and every other day, every three days, whatever you wanted to designate it to, designate it to then you give it to someone for those three days and they have it and they can write in it and they can journal in it and they can have fun in it and whatever. So that was her concept of the idea. And I tried to adopt that concept and so I have a few notebooks of that concept and then it morphed into kind of something else after a while. So I have my sixth grade journal. I found it the in the last video I did. I couldn't find it anywhere and it was at a friend's house. So I'm really glad to have this back in possession. And so it just literally has quotes in it. That's basically all it has. It has a, a lot of doodles and quotes. So this is like, you know, I'm weird talking about fish and stuff. Like, just weird things. And another thing about these is we never finish them. Most of these are blank. For the most part. Only the first couple pages are really ever done. But So this is 6th grade. 7th grade. 8th grade, 9th grade, and sophomore on. This is sophomore, junior, senior, and a little bit of freshman year of college. And then I got one for my friend for uh, her birthday that we're, we haven't really worked on yet, that we haven't even started. So I really like the idea of these journals, although they didn't really come to fruition with me and my friends as much as I kind of wished they would. But I really do enjoy the later ones. The later ones mostly have quotes. It's basically all they have in them is just quotes upon quotes upon quotes upon quotes and mashes. That's actually that's a lemon. If you've ever played the game Lemon, I don't I have no clue how to work it, but my friend does and she knows really well how to play that game. You know, and more more and more quotes. Mostly quotes. And oh look, a doodle. Pictures and a mash. And another mash. And more quotes. That's basically all that's in this one is just is just quotes. And I really do like that compared to these, which have quotes, but they're friendship. All about friendship, and they're very generic. Oh, and look, cute kitty. Oh. But, like, they're very generic quotes, and they don't really tell anything about being friends. It's just like, oh, I love you, you're a great friend, blah, blah, blah. But it was fun to do, and it's fun to look back and see them and see what you were like in sixth grade, not only by yourself if you have your own journal, but, you know, with friends. And you can be a totally different person in those two different lights. And, and you know, you can have quotes that, you know, I have quotes that I have in here from 10th grade that I look back at now and I'm like, oh my god, did I say that? Like, what is wrong with me? I, I don't know. Why did I think that was funny? Or things like that. Um, and they're not all quotes just from what we said, but they're quotes from bands we like and things like that. So, yeah, that's what friendship journals are to me, at least. I haven't really seen much out there on YouTube about about friendship journals, and so I wanted to bring it out to you guys to show you that, you know, regular journal journaling isn't always the way. You can always do different things, and if you want to involve your friends, you definitely should. I would highly encourage you guys to do this, especially if you are in middle school or high school. It's a great thing to do with your friends. It's fun. You can just have, you know, sleepovers and write in it. Don't be, don't do a burn book. Don't, don't be like Mean Girls and Red Burn book. That's not what these are. I don't think there's anything in any of these books about anybody else. There's one thing that I wrote 
talking about my ex-boyfriend because he had just broken up with me, but it's not even bad. It's like, oh, why did he do that? Oh, I'm so sad. But other than that, it it's just... That's just what it is. It's just kind of done. And... And so don't, don't do a burn book, but get together, write funny things, write quotes that you guys have said that is funny, not mean about other people. Uh, you know, write down movies that you like, you all like together, write down books that you've all read together, you know, start a book club with it or something and just get together and write in it or, you know, funny pictures or whatever, anything like that. And it's, I find it's a great way to have fun with your friends and to kind of connect with them more. Me and one of my friends are still doing it to this day, although we haven't for quite some time, so I'll have to see how that goes. We're going to try to get back into that. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys will try it at some point. Even if you're in college, it's a great idea. Or, you know, what you can do when you're out of even out of college with your friends, if they live far away, and even if you're in college with your friends, you can write letters to each other, and then you can post those in the in, in the friendship books. You can you can post those in the friendship books, and then you have all of those all together. You know, maybe each summer when you're back together, or when you do meet, you can you can put the letters together, and then someone can keep the book, or you could send the book back and forth. It's really up to you. It's your digression on what you want to do, but I do challenge you guys to do that because I think it's a great opportunity to become really good friends with people, you know, get to know people more, and it's just, it's fun, and you can look back, and that's one of my favorite parts of journaling, actually, is being able to look back and seeing what I was like and seeing what my friends are like because friends are a huge part of your life, especially when you're young and, you know, you need to have that and you can you can definitely help with that and become better friends. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.